what's going on everybody it's boomer tv here and uh i ran into a little issue today uh i thought you know i've got some extra time so uh i thought i'd jump on do a little live stream so i played a few games call of duty got a couple wins and then uh, it started going downhill really fast so i decided oh, i'll jump off uh, i haven't played rogue company in a while so I'll jump on and play some Rogue Company. And uh, while I was playing it, you know, I was live streaming it like most streamers do. I was streaming it on YouTube, you know, legitimately, right? On my actual gaming channel. And uh, the it gets done. And I start processing the live stream, right? You know, go ahead and do all my edits to it and everything. And... Uh, I couldn't believe there was a copyright claim on the video. And I was like, wait a minute. Like, how, how is this possible? Like, I own the game. I was live streaming it on YouTube. I've done it before and never had an issue, right? Like, ever, with any video game that had music in it or anything. Like, I've, I've never had an issue with it. And uh, so I was a little intrigued. I was like, I was like, wait a minute. How did I get copyright claimed? You know, for music inside a video game that I own and have founder status on, okay, and have been streaming before, I can show proof of it. Never had a problem, but this one here, I was sitting in a menu, I was picking a character, and they they copyright striked me for the menu music. Like, are you serious? Like, really, Rogue Company, copyright strike me? Look. Let me show you guys. All right, look at this. So, you can see here, right? This is the, the copyright summary and status right here. It says the territory was United States, visible, and 1.4, right? Which is weird because I'm in South Korea. I don't know what they're talking about in the United States. And it is partially blocked in Denmark. Like, why is the game partially blocked in Denmark? Is it is it the violence? Because it's a shooting game? So then I'm like, well, what happened? Right here. Thursday in the Danger Room featuring Kamasai Washington instrumental in the game. Look, right here's the proof. Look, let me play this. So here's me talking and streaming. I just gotta remember on this game, it ain't Call of Duty, you know, I need to And you can down. barely hear it. If I get into a game. Now here's where the music is. It's right here in this in this lobby. And they copyright claimed me for the music that they put in a game. Right? Like how ridiculous is this? I could not believe this. You, you can clearly see I'm playing the game. I'm live streaming on Facebook. Yep, not an issue. And they got me for the copyright right here. 133.59 to 135 even. So two minutes. Like two minutes and one second of that menu playing right here in the game. They copyright claimed me. Quarter Lab on behalf of Run the Jewels. Like, are you serious? So I disputed it. You're damn right I did. I disputed it. And I, I know I'm not going to win it. But I'm letting them know, hey, man, you're copyright claiming people's streams for this song that's in the game. Like, I, I couldn't believe it. I, I was really shocked. I was like, wow. You know, and what, what kills me even more is the fact that I only have nine subscribers on my gaming channel. That is it. It's not like my reaction channel where I'm at almost 2,000. You know, this gaming channel has nine. Boomer TV has even less. It's only like five because I've only done one video for it. This will be the second video on there. I just thought it was crazy. I was like, wow, I got copyright claimed for playing Rogue Company, a game I own. And I was in a menu talking about the game, and they copyrighted me for the menu music. 
look, YouTube has to do something about this, this copyright claim stuff because it's getting out of hand. Now they're copywriting music that's in a game. Now I can understand, you know, games like GTA, you know, where you got the radio and it's playing music like that. Like I can understand that, but this is literally just menu music. What this boils down to is greed. These, these people that make this music, they put it in the game knowing people's going to stream it. All right, especially when you get these high level guys like Shroud, Dr. Disrespect, Tim the Tatman, Summit 1G. They're going to be streaming this game. And the hundreds and thousands of viewers and views that they're going to get on these videos, these sleazeball music companies are going to take it. They're going to take the money from it for a copyright claim. It's not fair. It's not fair to us as creators that's out here putting in the work and all you did was made some shitty background menu music, man. Come on. Like, let's get real, people. This, this is ridiculous. Anyways, I just I was a little heated about it. I thought it was stupid, and I just wanted to bring it to people's attention. But, hey, I guess I'll, I'll see you all soon. Peace.